Is it the right time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into Intel. We've already published an initial report on our website on Wednesday, December 20th, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and get free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since November 3, 2023, our system has identified Intel as a buy candidate with a score of 2.54. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. For those who followed our analysis, you would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 19.98% since we first listed Intel as a buy candidate 33 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.61% per day since it was listed as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the upper part of a strong rising trend in the short term. This presents a potential selling opportunity for short-term traders, as we can expect a reaction back towards the lower part of the trend. However, a breakup at the top trend line at $46.86 would indicate an even stronger rate of rising. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential 37.27% change over the next three months. This suggests a possible return between 20.57% and 40.58%. On the 12-month trend, we see a projected 48.08% change over the next year, with a potential return between 12.7% and 51.19%. This means the stock could reach a price range of $51.57 to $69.19 after one year. Today's update on Intel brings us the headline, Intel stock price down 1.93% on Wednesday. On Wednesday, December 20, 2023, the Intel stock price experienced a decrease of 1.93%, dropping from $46.66 to $45.76. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 2.73%, moving between a low of $45.70 and a high of $46.95. In the past 10 days, the price has risen in 7 instances, resulting in a 10.88% increase over the past 2 weeks. Although the volume has increased by 993,000 shares on the last day, it occurred alongside falling prices. This situation may serve as an early warning, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next few days. In total, approximately 36 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to around $1.64 billion. Over the course of the past 52 weeks, the highest recorded stock price for Intel was $47.27, while the lowest was $24.73. Currently, the price is 3.19%, or $1.51, below the 52-week high. It is also 33.96%, or $23.53, below the all-time high on January 24, 2020, when the price reached $69.29. Analyst Ratings On Monday, December 18, 2023, it was reported that Needham upgraded Intel to a neutral grade. On Friday, December 15, 2023, Deutsche Bank upgraded Intel to a neutral grade. On Friday, December 15, 2023, Bank of America Securities upgraded Intel to a neutral grade. On Wednesday, December 6, 2023, KGI Securities upgraded Intel to an outperform grade. On Thursday, November 16, 2023, Telsey Advisory upgraded Intel to a buy grade. Analysts have given Intel stock a general rating of buy. They consider the PE ratio to be a strong indicator to buy the stock, and the price to book ratio is also recommended as a strong buy. In terms of return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. Today, let's take a look at the signals for Intel stock. The stock is showing mixed signals. 
On Tuesday, December 19, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, causing the stock to fall by minus 1.93%. It's expected to continue falling until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, there's currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Yesterday, volume increased as prices dropped, which could be a warning sign to monitor the stock more closely. However, both short and long-term moving averages give by signals, indicating a positive forecast for the stock. Furthermore, the relation between these two signals shows a general by signal, with the short-term average above the long-term average. If the stock experiences corrections down, it will find support at the $45.44 and $42.30 levels. However, if it breaks below these levels, sell signals will be issued. Here are some other signals that you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence is indicating a sell signal. The pivots are showing a sell signal two days ago. The Bollinger indicator suggested a buy signal two days ago. The short-term moving average is indicating a buy signal 10 days ago. The long-term moving average is indicating a buy signal 37 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages suggested a buy signal 34 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average is indicating a buy signal 10 days ago. The long-term moving average is indicating a buy signal 39 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages suggested a buy signal 184 days ago. Don't forget to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to discover more signals. Today, we're going to talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Intel. Let's start with support. Currently, the stock has found support just below today's level at $43.35 and $35.69. Support is an important level because if it is broken, the stock may fall to the next support level. For Intel, the next support level would be at $35.69 and $35.54. Moving on to risk. When a stock is testing a support level, there is a natural risk involved. If the support level is broken, the stock may experience a decline. In the case of Intel, with its average movements during the day and good trading volume, the risk is considered medium. Now, let's talk about stop loss. A stop loss order is a tool that can help minimize losses in case the stock price falls below a certain level. For Intel, it would be wise to consider setting a stop loss order if the stock breaks the support level at $43.35. Lastly, let's look at the stock's volatility. Over the last day, Intel had a price range of $1.25, which is equivalent to a 2.73% movement. On average, the stock has been experiencing a daily volatility of 3.21% over the past week. Before we explore potential trading levels for Intel, let's first go over some important fundamental data. One crucial metric to consider is the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company either has negative earnings or is losing money. It's not uncommon for established companies to face challenging periods, often due to external factors. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may suggest insufficient profit and potential risks of bankruptcy. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for January 25, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $0.430. It's important to keep a close eye on these figures, as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, let's analyze some potential day trading levels for Intel. If the stock is on an upward trend, we can look at the first resistance level, which is at $46.16. If you don't own any shares, it might be wise to wait until this level is surpassed before entering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this could be an interesting level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Intel faces its first support level at $43.35. If this support level holds, it could present a good opportunity to enter the market, anticipating a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, the combined average rating for Intel is buy. 
Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On December 3, 2023, Zinsner David bought 5,283 shares of restricted stock units. On December 3, 2023, Shell Christoph bought 5,283 shares of restricted stock units. On December 3, 2023, Rivera Sandra L bought 5,283 shares of restricted stock units. On December 3, 2023, Holthouse Michelle Johnston bought 5,283 shares of restricted stock units. On December 3, 2023, Gall Scott bought 1,596 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative with a ratio of minus 8.132. Overall, Insiders have purchased 343,034 shares and sold 407,920 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $44.10, which represents a decrease of 3.63%. This particular stock exhibits moderate daily movements, indicating a medium level of risk. We have identified a sell signal based on a pivot top that was observed one day ago. Is Intel stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, there are several positive indicators and a favorable overall trend, suggesting that Intel stock may present a buying opportunity in the short term. Furthermore, our systems have determined that the current price of Intel stock is undervalued, considering the volatility in recent market movements. Looking ahead to Thursday, December 21, we anticipate Intel to open up with a gain of $0.377, starting the day's trading at $46.14. Before we begin, it's important to note that trading involves a high risk of losing money. We strongly recommend speaking with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. It's crucial not to solely rely on stockinvest.us for your investment decisions. By using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment choices. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree with our current view of the stock. And don't forget to share your target for the stock as well. If you enjoy our content, remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We're here at Stock Invest, wishing you successful trading and hoping you have a wonderful day.